Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out the Sterling by Music Man St. Vincent guitar. This is Annie Clark's guitar. And um, funny uh, funny thing was, I, I've been wanting one. As soon as I saw it, I just thought it was a cool looking guitar. It just kind of was out there and strange. And I thought, um, you know, just kind of thought it sounded interesting. Well, a couple weeks ago on a live broadcast, I mentioned that I kind of wanted one. And if they would have made it the uh, economy model, I would probably do it. Logan just said they do make a Sterling saint vincent well watch this i like the weight on it 500 bucks that's the price i want to do review the offer we sent it submit the offer this guitar is the basically the 600 street price version of the two thousand dollar guitar that's available through music man so let me go over a few things and we'll show you the sounds and i'll tell you why i like the guitar so the first thing that's interesting about the guitar is of course the shape but that's not what got me drawn to the guitar I like having the mini humbuckers. I just think this is a really cool idea. Three mini humbuckers. I've seen strats like this. I've seen guitars like this. I just thought it was really cool. But but also, I just thought it just has a cool vibe to it. Kind of like a old silver tone, Dane Electro, kind of strange, kind of 60s kind of guitar, but with some modern features. So what really impresses me about this particular model of Sterling by Music Man is that it has a lot of the features that the uh, expensive counterpart does. Now, it doesn't have the same bridge, but it does have a pop-in uh, tremolo arm, which I thought was a really cool feature. And it's a short tremolo arm too, just like the, the, the more expensive version. So I thought that was cool. They have like knobs. In fact, they look almost exactly alike, except for I, the expensive version has a uh, rosewood neck, although there is a maple neck version as well. This one is satin maple neck where they put gloss on it, but then they sanded that off, just like they do on the expensive version. The fit and finish on this one was fantastic. Uh, the fret ends feel great. There's no issues. The only difference between this and the, uh, and the high end version I felt was you can feel where they hand polished off and rounded over the ends of the fret ends on the expensive version, something that you could do or have done pretty easily to get that finished out kind of feeling. Now the pickups, uh, they're obviously not the same model pickups, but uh, I don't really care. It's not what I'm going for. I don't need this guitar to be specced exactly like Annie's. Uh, I really want it to uh, kind of be my own thing as well. Obviously the contour on the body is extremely comfortable. It's just, just out there. It's kind of a rocket ship of, of a guitar. But I want to get into the sounds and I want to show you what I think is interesting about the guitar and what made me buy this guitar. Okay, so as you can see, using a looper and a couple stomp boxes and this guitar, I was able to get some crazy sounds. I was really fun. It was kind of liberating to not just play the standard blues or rock uh, genre, do something different. But I know that's not gonna give you a true sound sample of the guitar. So right now I'm gonna go through the guitar, just play it clean, but play every position and let you hear that.
So the next clip I want to give you is where I thought this guitar would really be fun. It's this guitar, a uh, Havelina Fuzz, uh, and a sub and up octave pedal by uh, TC Electronics. Here we go. Last, I just want to give you some straight up distortion tone. This is going to be a light overdrive through a PRS Custom 50 head uh, and just a little reverb so you can hear how this guitar maintains with just doing traditional rock settings. <laughs> So as you can see, it was fun, right? It's a fun sounding guitar. I like the mini five bolt system. It's really unique. I like how they contoured right here for your hand. Um, I feel like I have total control of the guitar. As awkward as it looks like it's gonna feel, it actually feels very comfortable. There's no reason that anyone would be uncomfortable with the guitar. I really like the fact that the pick guard has got a three dimensional look. In other words, it's thinner on the sides and gets thicker towards the middle. Um, so they used a thick piece of plastic and then cut that out. Details that I didn't expect to get in this price point. I thought the the those details and the custom knobs would only come in the high-end guitars. I thought I would get the stock knobs and stock pickguard, you know, flat piece of plastic. They really didn't skimp out very much on this guitar. The same uh, truss rod. I mean, yeah, there's locking keys on the other model. I, I don't know. Now, owning this one, does that prompt me to want to look at the th more expensive model? Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to see how long uh, before the bug gets me. And I really like that somebody's actually trying to do something a little different than just your typical body shapes, your typical styles, and st typical sounds. It's a fun guitar. For that price range, uh, it's hard to beat. It came with a deluxe gig bag as well. I should point that out. Uh, another cool feature. I really enjoyed the guitar. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, Know your gear.